So our next guest is Kim Hunt, a project leader with Five London. Kim, over to you. So welcome and um, thank you for the invite today. Um, uh, so my name is Kim Hunt, as I said, I'm project manager and I work for Thrive London. Next slide, please, Lucy. So initially, I'll just give you a bit of background about Thrive London. Um, Thrive London was launched in 2017 and it's a citywide movement to ensure all Londoners have an equal opportunity for good mental health and well-being. We're supported by and it was launched by the Mayor of London and also supported by the London Health Board Partners. Next points, Lucy. So our aim is to create a collective action across London for everyone to speak openly about mental health and have an equal opportunity to thrive. At its core, Thrive London is a participation driven public mental health partnership and we engage with and respond to the needs of Londoners. The insights and feedback we get from the Londoners have always been at the forefront of everything that we do. Since March, we led on the coordination of the public mental health response to and recovery from COVID-19 pandemic. This was on behalf of the Office for Health and Improvement and Disparities, which was also formerly known as Public Health England. The aim was of ensuring Londoners diverse communities have the strength and resilience to cope with and overcome these unprecedented events. Last year, uh, up to March 21, um, over 685,000 people took part in different projects, events and activities that Thrive London either led on or collaborated on with other partners. So by working in partnership across London, <clears throat> we're better able to achieve our shared goal for all Londoners to have an equal chance to a healthy, happy and fulfilling life. On behalf of NHS England, Thrive London is the regional lead for suicide prevention in London and we facilitate a multi-agency suicide prevention group to de deliver citywide projects to prevent suicide and support those that are affected. Next slide please Lucy. So now I'd just like to share with you some of the um, current areas of work that Thrive London um, is involved in. So our main uh, regional partnership forum for public health and public mental health and we coordinate a various groups and networks across London to ensure that a broad range of partners contribute to and benefit from our work. Research and evaluation is a very important area for us as well, as all of Thrive London's activities are informed by evidence based and community insights. And we take developmental evaluation approach to learn from our activities and also measure their impact. We coordinate the public mental health communications across the capital and develop universal and targeted public mental health campaigns. Our main programmes and projects cover the mental health recovery mission, which I'll talk about in a moment, Right to Thrive, Suicide Prevention and Children and Young People's Mental Health. Next slide, please. Thanks. As Debbie Weeks Bernard mentioned earlier, the Mayor of London, in partnership with the London Councils, brought together leaders of London's institutions to form the London Recovery Board. Together with London's communities, they set a grand challenge to restore confidence in the city, minimise the impact on communities and build back better the city's economy and society. The challenge was broken down into nine recovery missions and the mental health and wellbeing mission is one of those nine missions. And we were stating that by 2025, London will have a quarter of a million wellbeing champions and they will support Londoners where they live, work and play. The mental health and wellbeing mission aims to enable and empower Londoners to improve their own and their community's wellbeing, particularly for those whose wellbeing is worse or at greater risk. The mission will improve access to support, resource and ideas. It will provide support to Londoners who want to take forward activity to improve their own wellbeing, that of others and also of their communities. Next slide, please. So on this slide, you will see some of the examples of the activity that Thrive London have been involved with recently. Um, the most recent was a bereavement support campaign that dealt with recognising the loss, uh, the scale of loss across the city and offering bereavement and loss webinars through crews, developing culturally competent training and sharing additional resources that were developed by Good Thinking and Yvelli. We engaged with Londoners on what they needed to better support their own well-being and that of others and offered training to London councillors to help support them with their own mental health and also how they could then use that to affect change within their local communities. 
We've been supporting the community champions networks in London as part of the recovery mission, identifying key characteristics of these networks and how they can be embedded into the mental health and wellbeing recovery mission. Finally, we also launched the wellbeing resource page on the Thrive London website, which we will share the link with you so you can access it um, later or after this event. Thanks, Lucy. So the space I mentioned was called Help Yourself and Others and brings together ideas, inspiration and resources to help build your resilience and improve wellbeing and also to learn from community experiences what had happened through the pandemic. The space focuses on four main areas that enable good wellbeing tools and ideas for better well-being for you, um, your colleagues and others within the community, free training opportunities, where you can obtain urgent support, and also a section on well-being resources that we've had translated into 36 languages, as well as additional targeted support for refugee communities, which is a more recent project. Thank you. So I just wanted to speak to you about our Zero Suicide London campaign, which I spoke about earlier as one of our main programmes of work, which is around suicide prevention. And there are more than 12 people a week that take their own life in London. If someone was in a crisis, would you know what to say? Thrive London is leading a campaign to get Londoners to take this free online suicide prevention training. We've partnered with the Zero Suicide Alliance and have created a training programme to help people identify warning signs and also feel comfortable about having conversations about suicide. Our initial goal of 100,000 people taking the training was met within the first 12 months and so far we've had 300,000 300, amazing Londoners who have now accessed the training since the launch. It only takes 20 minutes and there is a shorter version as well but it could make all the difference to someone in need. I do encourage you to take the training. Uh, the link is in this presentation and it will be available after today's event. Next slide, please, thank you. So just to finish off um, and just a review, quick catch, uh, catch up over what I've just been talking about. Um, there's three areas here, which I'd like to share with you um, on some of the resources around how you can support uh, have, you have access to support the movement for recovery and your mental health awareness initiative. Take the 20 minute suicide awareness training, access the help yourself and others resources on the Thrive London website. Use the Science Conversation Starter Toolkit, which has been developed to support faith and community members to engage in mental health conversations with others. And following on from the Great Mental Health in London Day, which happened back in January this year, Make a short video or clip of you answering a question around mental health, feeling connected, or how you support others on your, in your community. Post it online using the hashtag Great Mental Health or tagging in at Thrive London. So I hope this presentation has given you a bit of an overview of what Thrive London does. Thank you very much for inviting us today. And I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I look forward to hearing what you've been doing within your communities. Thank you.